Hi family, I'm Jordan Thorpe. If you're new, welcome to Jordan's Journey channel. If you're already subscribed to the family, welcome back. I appreciate you. I love you guys. Um, thank you so much for continuing to tune in. I see your comments. Um, I see your donations and it's just greatly appreciated. Um, so I wanted to just get that out. I appreciate, I appreciate you guys and love you guys so much. Um, so I'm going to get into this word. And as you can tell from the title, it is God says, step out of the boat. You're entering into dry land. Step out of the boat. You are entering into dry land. And God gave me this word yesterday. I'm doing my quiet time with him. He said, step out of the boat step out of the boat you were entering into dry land so what does that mean so a lot of you all have been experiencing a lot of ups and downs and rockiness okay and just uncertainty in your life right there's a there's been a lot of uncertainty a lot of ups and downs if, as you all have been getting settled right into this new territory in this new land okay but god said there you were you were in his hand the whole time right you were in his hand the whole time you were in his hand right and there was no way that whatever you were going through could overtake you right you weren't going to drown because you were in the boat god even though you were experiencing experiencing difficulties even though you were experiencing different trials tribulations that you had to overcome you were still in the hand of God. You were still protected. You were still in the boat. You were in the water, but the water couldn't drown you. The water couldn't overtake you. Okay, so now God's saying the, the flood is over. The flood is over because there were some things in your life that he had to completely destroy. There were some idols in your life that he had to completely destroy. So he had to he had to flood it, just like how he had to flood the earth with Noah and he had to start over and begin again. And that was exactly what was happening in your life. There is a new beginning that is happening. And there was a flood that had to happen in your life that he had to get rid of some idols that you weren't even aware of, that he had to get of some, some things some some jealousy, some heartache. He had to heal your heart and he had to or give you some forgiveness to forgive those who has who have done wrong by you. But God said the the flood is over. He did have to 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 de he did have to destroy some things in your life, but that was a part of the process. Because this dry land that you are about to enter, right? This dry land that you are about to enter it you couldn't take those things with you you couldn't take that baggage which you had to destroy some old habits he had to destroy some strongholds there were some strongholds that that could not go with you into this next level so he had to destroy it he had to completely destroy he had to it's almost like a flood he had to wipe it out he had to wipe it out so he can start again on clean slate and i did another word um of uh, that was entitled you're walking into your promised land and the angels of God are with you. And I talk about how God is was tearing down and rebuilding on solid ground. And a lot of you, this, this is happening in your life. And he gave me the example of Noah and the, in the flood, right? How, how he had to completely wipe out the earth, right? He had to completely wipe out the earth, but because Noah was faithful, right? And, and, obedient to God's word he didn't even though he had to wipe out and start over Noah was protected he was protected in the boat right he was protected in the boat so even though God had to start over in your life and wipe out some idols in your life you were in his hand you were in his hand but God's saying you can step out the step out the boat you are entering into dry land right you were entering into dry land and this dry land is going to be a settlement you could you, it's going to be you're going to be settled right you were the, the water was rocky inside the boat right a lot of ups and downs and turbulence but but god said you can step out and then in this dry land you're going to be settled there's going to be a settlement there right where you're going to have new routines and new habits and everything that he he taught you um during that process while you were on the boat right um, 
So of course he gave me some scripture. And um, this is God's covenant with Noah and it's coming from Genesis 9, 1 through 3. Genesis 9, 1 through 3, it says, Then God blessed Noah and his sons, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number, number and fill the earth. The fear and dread of you will fall on the beasts of the earth and all the birds in the sky, on every creature that moves along the ground and on all the fish in the sea. They are given into your hands. Everything that lives and moves about will be food for you. Just as I gave you the green plants, I now give you everything. Family, this is so good. So this was God's covenant to Noah. So he starts off and says, Then God blessed Noah and his son, saying to them, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the earth. So God's saying, This is going to be a season of multiplication for you. This is going to be a season of multiplication. It's, it's, God is multiplying everything that you do. Okay? He's saying to them, be fruitful and increase in number, okay? The fear and dread of you will fall on the beasts of the earth and all the birds in the sky and every creature that moves along the ground and all the fish in the sea, they are given into your hands. They are given into your hands. Everything that lives and moves will be food for you. Just as I gave you green plants, I now give you everything. God's saying, I now give you everything. Everything that you prayed for, all of your heart's desires. It's going to be like everything that you touch. It's going to multiply. It's going to turn gold. Turn gold okay? It's, it's going to be fruitful and multiply. This is going to be a season of multiplication for you in this dry land, right? in this dry land, in this new territory, in this settlement. You know, God is settling you and it's gonna be a season of multiplication, God. Family, hear me when I tell you, everything that you do, everything that you touch, God is answering prayers. He says, I now give you everything, everything that you pray for, all of your heart's desires. God said he's giving it to you in this season, okay? Um, so I wanna go back, so jump down to... <clears throat> Genesis 9, 8 through 11. Genesis 9, 8 through 11, it says, Then God said to Noah and his sons with him, I now establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you, the birds, the livestock, the livestock and all the wild animals, all those that came out of the ark with you, every living creature on earth, I establish a covenant with you. Never again, Will all life be destroyed by the waters of a flood to destroy the earth? Okay. So this dry land, you're walking into the promises of God. You're walking into the promises of God for your life. I did, um, I mentioned this in another video. Uh, I believe it was the video, you're walking into your promised land, right? You're walking into your covenant. This is the, the covenant that has been passed down from generations since Noah. God said you're this dry land that he's settling you in. It, it, it's your covenant. You're walking into the promises that God has for your life. And he says, I establish my covenant with you. Never again will life will be destroyed by the waters of the flood. God said, what you experience during the flood, when God was flooding out those idols and those old habits and strongholds in your life during your, your pruning and develop, developing process, he's saying, never again will you have to experience what you experienced during that season. Never again will you have to experience what you have experienced during that season when you were on the boat, right? Um, so family, the, this is a, a wonderful word. I hope you were blessed and encouraged. God is saying, get off the boat. God says, step out of the boat. You're entering into your dry land. You're entering into the covenant. The dry land is the covenant that God has made for you. You're walking into your promises. I love you so much. God loves you. So do I. And until next time. Bye.